industry. My next guest is the lead singer for the hit band Skid Row. He says there's nothing wrong with a little bit of pot after a hard day's work. Sometimes it can even put you in the mood for love. Please welcome from Skid Row, Sebastian Bach and his wife, Maria. Thanks for being here, Sebastian. Thank you, Maria, also for being here. What do you want to say to these guys? Um, well, first of all, I want to say that God forbid that these guys over here were uh, drinking a bottle of whiskey all day or doing cocaine because if they were doing that as much as they were smoking herb, they would not be sitting here at this moment right now. <laughs> but I, I think basically that the problem is um, that I was hearing backstage, well, there was two major ones. One is that it seems to be the excess of the usage of the marijuana that is messing these guys' lives up. I have a rule, I'm a singer in a rock band, and uh, I had a rule when I started out that if I was singing or I had something to do that was important to me, I would not do anything, drink beer, smoke dope, nothing, because my job is too important to, to what you know I am. It's much more important than marijuana is, you know. Mm -hmm. But well, what uh, if your wife told you that she didn't approve of your pot smoking and told you to quit? Would well, you choose your wife over the pot? You see, I think the reason that uh, people might want to do that is because guys like this saying that he blows marijuana smoke into a baby's face, what a meathead thing to say, man. <laughs> Dude, come on, get a grip, man. I mean, that is... I get... I have a son who's six years old who is the most important thing in the whole world to me. And I'm... Wait. If I ever heard of a babysitter doing that, no matter how much pot I smoke, I'd bust your ass, buddy. <laughs> is not anything half as important as like kids and your job and your life and your woman and your woman exactly. yeah but listen to me no, you, said, you said that you you and you you guys you guys both said that you drink you guys both said that you drink the fact is is that alcohol kills 495,000 people a year to tobacco me. kills 100,000 and in marijuana has I never killed me. anybody say something I mean the way these guys are talking that it seems like they're smoking 10 joints a day if you were to have 10 beers a day on a regular I basis every up. single day right <laughs> yeah, I could understand that. but see the thing is that fine I don't I stopped drinking way before exactly. I was pregnant because he told me that he didn't like it and I did it for him you know why because my relationship with him means much more to me than an, a bottle of alcohol so I expect exactly. that I, you, you hey, say you love me that you need that little bag of love we if don't. I don't like it, respect me. I understand that. I understand. Oh, no. My mother calls me Mario Andretti Jr. I drove my bike. Oh, please. <laughs> Rick, this no. is not a debate on alcohol versus bud. Oh, the it's all the about not smoking bud. The lose. way he smokes bud all day and every day, that is okay. unnecessary. Yeah, these, these, I agree. I agree. He could be agree. doing better things. I agree. He could be doing better things. things. I got to say that excess cannot be criminalized, right? He could also be sniffing paint thinner all day, then he'd be dead. You know, I mean, you still have he a husband. He could also mature a little bit and not do anything. Well, he could do that, but the point is, is that why the hell should he go out with his friends as drinking Miller Draft all day, why and other guys... Why do you have to drink if you go out with your friends? Yeah, yeah. Because... enjoy the drive. Yeah. Sanely, I mean, when I you go can't... out and I hang out, I bug out, I have fun, that's it, I don't need yep. to get high. Do you drink? I don't need to drink. Yeah, yeah. You, you never do, you never drink. No, She's pregnant. But hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me ask you. Sebastian, why are you talking? No, wait, wait, wait. I want to talk to your wife. Maria, does it bother you that your husband smokes pot? No. He smokes in moderation. He doesn't smoke in the house. But if he was smoking as much as these guys are. I would never do that. 
I, I wouldn't no. do that. My voice and my kids are too important to me, man. I mean, if you got kids, that's like the worst thing you could ever do. So you're saying that pot is okay, but not I'm saying in if you, Ricky, like to have a, a beer, say, after you get home from work while you're watching the movie or something, the, all those beers stored up in your body are hurting you. There has never been, there was a farce uh, comment on the TV that said that uh, a myth, it's a safe drug, and then it said fact, marijuana has been linked to lung cancer. Keyword linked. The fact is that there has never been in 10,000 years of medical recorded history but any lung is, cancer from marijuana. But this, but this show, marijuana. Sebastian, is not about... It's wait a minute, true. wait a minute, it's wait a minute. True. Wait a minute. But let me just say, Sebastian, no, the point... It kills you Excuse all me, that. wait, 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 wait. 100,000 people a year. Sebastian, wait, wait, wait. 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 hang on. This is still my show. Hang on. Excuse me. Please, please, respect me. Please, Sebastian. Ricky, you go, girl. Sebastian, that this the point of the show is not about whether pot kills or doesn't well, kill. Yeah, but not the point, people wait, know let me points. finish. I've let you finish. Let me finish. Right. The point is that these ladies that are here today are saying that it is killing their relationship. Okay. I wow. think it's wow. the excess. I don't think it's the pot. I, I agree think it's with the you. excess. If these yeah, guys exactly. went to work all day and were great guys like That's they looked to be, That's what and does. then they came home. Well, hey man, he said he was working at Walmart. Who the hell wanna? <laughs> and a woman who says pot is no way to hold on to your partner. We'll be right back. You know I had the weirdest dream? You too. make a relationship better? My next guest says in some ways, yes. He is editor-in-chief of High Times Magazine, Steve Hager. Steve says... Steve says, anything in excess can be dangerous, but pot is hardly the worst thing these guys could be doing. Also joining us is Denalda James. Denalda is with the National Association on Drug Abuse Problems. She says she has seen firsthand how pot can be the worst thing in a relationship. What have you seen? Ooh. Hang on. First of all, Ricky, I want to say that, um, okay, yeah, it might not have any effects on you physically, short term. But, I mean, according to a lot of the research that I've seen, it, it, it creates an amotivational syndrome, okay? Whereas, excuse me, wait a second. Whereas, you smoke so much weed, you can't understand what she's saying. Thank you. Whereas, after a while, you're not going to live up. What, please, let me just explain one at a time so we can hear you all. Yes. You're not going to live up to your potential in life, okay? Joke. You're just, what a joke. I saw 10 million Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Okay, so maybe you could have sold 20 million But I'm only 26 years old. who have a job, right? But daggone it, you could have gone farther. You could go further. You are living in a twilight zone. Yes, we hang on. Yes. She's I'd like to make a comment lying. on the motivation Sorry. thing. Shh. She's not lying. I'm hang on, lying. wait a minute, everybody, please. Let's respect everybody. Yes. I think first of all. Motivation, Sebastian Bach has been on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine. I think that you come from a family of, of uh, an artist and, and have been around some, some uh, pot your whole life. And I and come from a family with a sister who looks kind of like you, right? Nah. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> no, but, but maybe, but maybe he is the exception. I'm not. Talk exactly. to him. Ricky, can I say something? Yes, yeah, Steve. Now, Louis Armstrong smoked pot every day of his life and was the greatest trumpet player that ever lived. Uh, I think it's immaterial whether or not he would have been a better trumpet player. If this is a free society, then it's a free to choose what you want to do. Bob Marley chain smoked marijuana every day of his life and was the greatest reggae superstar of all time. 
Leave these guys alone. Hey, me, and also her comment, her, her comment, maybe I could have sold 20 million records if I didn't smoke pot. Well, maybe Bill Clinton would have become the president of the United States. Look, the most, the, the worst thing about, the worst thing about marijuana is that it's illegal. Hang on. We have here in the audience Dr. James P. Morgan. He's with the City University of New York Medical School. Now, what do you want to add to this? Is pot smoking dangerous to your body? Pot smoking, of course, can be dangerous. There are no drugs that are completely safe. I think I've noticed what everyone else here has noticed, that this seems to be a show about lovers' conflicts, and it could have been about hang gliding or rock piling, and the marijuana issue is secondary to how these people are getting along. Uh, marijuana can be dangerous. Excessively, it has some dangers, the intoxicating effect. What about, what about blowing smoke into a baby's face, pot smoke? I don't think people should blow smoke into a baby's face. My guess is this baby was harmed less by this smoke being blown into his face than he would have been from tobacco smoke. But no, it's not a good idea to give people drugs they don't want to take. And what about driving on pot? Nobody should drive while intoxicated. Of course the drug has an intoxicating effect. On the other hand, the issue here of how much danger it is to people has to do with how they choose to use it. And I agree with Mr. Hager that in a free society, people can make that choice rather than the government. All right, with that, we'll be right back after this. Uh, we're, we're talking about the dangers of pot. The most dangerous thing about pot is that it's illegal. If I have a 12-year-old, I can send that 12-year-old out and I can say, buy me some pot or buy me a six-pack. He won't come back with a six-pack because he can't do that because that's regulated and controlled, but he can buy the pot. Mm -hmm. Now, that's people what? die. They don't die from marijuana. They get died in a drug shootout because somebody was trying to buy marijuana. That's, right. that's how people die from marijuana. So how, you said it's good. It's good for a relationship. How is pot good? Pot's good for some That's people. Her. For some people, it's not good. For the, those who think it's good for them, like Sebastian, he should be allowed to smoke it in, 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 you know, in, in a free society. Also, Ricky, um, I, people were saying, how does uh, pot uh, affect your relationship? I would only say, like, in one instance, it has affected my relationship. It made me, like, really horny. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really glad I know that about you, Sebastian. <laughs> you go, girl. Yes, what do you want to say? Yes, I have a comment for Patrice and uh, Charles. Patrice, I understand that you want him to stop, you know, smoking weed every day. Uh, but, you know, to limit him, to tell him he shouldn't do it at all, I don't think that's right. Maybe he should do what he wants to do outside of the home, on his own time. But Charles, still. No. Because Every Charles hour, wouldn't be able hour to do is it a like bit that. much. $50 a day is like $350 a week, which is like $1,400 a month. You could be putting that money to some furniture, to your education, to something other than weed. Yes, sir. All right, first of all, to the lady on the end, she says that marijuana don't make people prosper. I know a lady who's been smoking marijuana for 50 years, and she's an accountant. Okay. All right, and, number, and to Charles, to you, you need to get a new girl who smoke weed and leave her alone, all right? <laughs> examples of people who do prosper but on a whole I deal with youth I deal with people all the time and on a whole you're gonna find that they don't what's and worse, when it comes, what's worse? Wait going a to second. jail for five years or smoking a joint when it comes You're, to it's legalizing, it's okay to send the kids to jail, but it's not okay for them. When to it comes to legalizing, the thing about marijuana is that a child starts out with marijuana, Drug, but it is beer, the gateway drug. Beer and beer and cigarettes. cigarettes. Cigarette. All right, all right. And then by the time you're finished, marijuana today, particularly on the streets, are laced with other things. Oh, and no, no, we gotta take a break. We'll be right back after this. Tonight on the Channel 9 News, the wedding night video of Tanya Harding and Jeff Galuli. Why would she have sex in front of the camera?
relationships, drugs of any kind, should never be more important than the person you love. If you are involved with someone who would rather get high on something other than you, maybe it's time to get professional help, or maybe it's just time to get out. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Promotional fees have been paid by the following. To keep today's clothes looking newer, longer, use today's color-safe bleach. New ultra-vivid.